Hey guys, Shadow here, bringing you a Total War Warhammer Let's Play using the Empire. The legendary lord that I'll be using is Balthazar Gelt. Uh, I'll be playing on normal difficulty just because I'm using the Steel Faith overhaul mod. And I know there is tweaks to the AI. If I find it too easy, I will up the difficulty. Um, Balthazar Gelt to start comes with Greatsword Infantry, a unit of Mortars, and a unit of Outriders. He gets 25% uh, battle upkeep for Wizards, uh, 10 armor for all units, all forces, and a Winds of Magic starting amount plus 12. He can get a Flying Pegasus mount, and he is the Lore of Metal. Without further ado, let's go! missions. Ancestral capital. But a demented Rachnik spider claw leads an attack on Altdorf's walls. My charge is Karl Kranz, the true builder of Gal Maraz. But as he fights to secure his status as emperor, Will his reign strengthen the nation? Or lead it to ruin? So here we are, just uh, loading in. Gonna splat some people with some magic, hopefully. I do know that in the uh, Steel Faith, there is a few units added, so I'll be taking a look at them. Just before we get into it, see what I can see that's new. <coughs> Hopefully, there's some nice cool units. The green skins scurry back to their dirt holes, Lord. However, 
It remains a time of crisis for the Empire. Secessionists, hostile to the election of Emperor Karl Franz, are trying to form a breakaway province to the south. We need a stable Empire if you are to study the arcane texts. You must put an end to their senseless revolt. Go and get the Empire scum. Not Empire Secessionist scum. Glorious Todbringer of Middenheim, a bitter rival of the recent election, plots openly against the Emperor. Be warned that should diplomacy fail, war with Todbringer will be unavoidable. Be sure to build your forces. In all the Empire, there is none more powerful than you, Supreme Patriarch. Show the Emperor's enemies your arcane might. Okay, so here we are. Uh, go defeat the Empire Successionist scum. So I'll go down and kill this guy in a minute. Uh, let's just see if what's new uh... ooh that's a nice garrison an empire captain to start with as well um, so ooh does that come with the garrison then no it lets me unlock and recruit them. Ooh, the Imperial Foot. What is that? Oh, okay. Witch Hunter Retinue. Uh, Sigmarite Disciples. They're quite nice. All of the wizards. So I'll probably use quite a few wizards along with Gelt. Uh, just because of the upkeep um, and then we've got what's this one uh, Huntsman anti-large missile infantry which is um, quite nice um, right off we go so to start with I uh, going to just upgrade uh, no, I'm not going to upgrade that. I'll um, I'll go down here first and get straight into a battle, and then I'll see what I want to. So this should be a fairly easy battle to start with. So let's jump in. So I do know that they've tweaked the AI to make it generally smarter, so it will do some stuff that you wouldn't really expect. Um, but I don't really know how they are going to be. Also, the magic pool is increased to 70, I think. So I'm going to... I'll gamble with that and... Oh, oh dear. Oh, that was horrific. Um, I have got a mortar, so I'm going to take this ridge just here. Um, just to pound down on them. With crossbows there, and melee troops just behind. And then with my Outriders, I'm going to uh, just kind of be irritating and try to do as much damage as I can. Uh, stick those in a group. Okay, so mortars are firing already. Hopefully, if I can get this ridge here, I can uh, just start shooting down on the uh, onto them. 
Mortar's already doing quite a fair bit to this uh, archer unit, uh, crossbow unit, which is nice. Let's see if Balthazar Gelt can. Uh, if I bring him. That's okay, I mean, I didn't get them, um, but it has slowed them all down for a bit more mortar fire so which is which is nice and uh, oh oh there in fact I bring those back my crossbow is now firing <coughs> A lot of damage from um, Alpha's I go out there. Just run away with my outriders. I'll get my mortars to focus fire on there. Get my crossbows to uh, focus fire on these. Get my great swords in and my swords in, and then I'll leave my uh, my pikes just to. Uh, Bring my outriders away. Just that will just nicely tie up. And then once these guys are tied up, just uh, drop some more death on them. Oh, that did hurt. a hell of a lot of damage there, which is uh, which is nice. Yeah, this unit here is just getting chewed by my outriders, which is. Really nice. I do know that they've buffed um, the um, magic, so it doesn't make him uh, useless. Oh no! Don't get no! Don't get caught! Don't get caught! Oh dear! Let's run those away. Uh, and then let's just focus fire on that, get my mortars on there. Where is Gelt? Let's have a look at him. I mean, he's uh, not a bad looking chap. Are these, uh, well, they're, they're breaking. Um, let me just drop that on him. Take my great swords and my swords over there. So I will be using Kelt from range just to um, pepper with Searing Doom quite a lot. Especially with the bigger magic pool, there's no need to do anything. Um, Outrageous with the uh, your spellcaster, you can just sort of keep them behind, splatting as as best you can. Um, so that's how it will be using Gel, uh, which which is what he's for, rather than being melee. Um, I really want to kill this guy. A thousand health, like. If I can move uh, on Grumberg straight away, um, I will do that. Uh, come on, take him down. I mean, the, the Outriders were really good there. They kept a unit just completely, um, completely focused on on them, and I was able to just run them round and. I should really be. Uh, 
trying to run them down, but with only one set of cavalry, it's a bit difficult. I'm just going to speed it up. He is going to die very, very soon. Oh, this stupid little ledge. I didn't see this ledge. Come on, a couple more shots. Come on, one more. There we go. So now I'm just gonna pepper the the rest of the enemies with gunfire. Just <coughs> like kill as many off as I possibly can. Um, hopefully, Gelt can get there too. Give us a mother, uh, another Serin Doom, but if he can't, it's no, no problem. I don't think he's gonna get there. Nope, too late. Never mind. So end battle. Forty-five losses is not bad. <laughs> Mortars really doing work there. Um, Gelt not getting any kills but he uh, he was just there to whittle them, whittle their health down and damage them enough to for everything else. Great swords doing well. Like I said, Outriders just running off, being a nuisance, just chipping away at health which is what I want them to do. I don't need them to be getting the kills. My great swords can handle a lot at the moment. Um, yeah, it was just that Lord 23. So hopefully, if I can push straight on Grunberg, I will be doing that. Um, if not, I'll jump back into my province just to uh, just to heal, and then I'll go straight back uh, after Grunberg next turn. Um, so, some money. Gained rank for Gelt. Um, so I can pardon captives, get some money. Um, get some more leadership, which I don't really think I need. Or I can take on some captives, which will replenish me nicely. Uh, I'm going to take on the captives. So I've gained another thousand, which is nice. Um, yeah, there we go. Capture and occupy Gromberg. So, I mean, the garrison is is a nothing garrison. Oh, I can't get there. Um, <clears throat> I'll hop back in just uh, to replenish that little bit more. Um, I am going to get rid of this. I do believe in. Um, Steel Faith, you can get tier 4 on uh, your outer provinces now, so you can get the buildings, uh, like the menagerie, I could put it in um, to Helmgart now, rather than it having to be an outdoor, so, and the armory, I can put that elsewhere, so, um, thinking about it, I might just keep the rally field uh, and upgrade it now, um, It'll give me more garrison, it'll give me some troops, uh, the ability to recruit, so I'm just going to stick that in. And uh, I'm going to recruit <coughs> um, a sword. No, another sword and uh, a pike, a pike unit. Um, I am a supreme patriarch. So, got two points because um, of the... Um, because of the mod, uh, you get a uh, different amount of points, so, um, I am going to, um, I'm going to 
I'm going to give Root Marcher just a little bit more campaign movement uh, is, is always nice. Um, and I'm going to obviously Sir and Doom because I want him to go down his um, his um, magic line uh, just because he's got quite a nice um, pool of what he can do. So minus 50 armor for anybody is going to do a lot, a lot of uh, make them extremely weak. Um, again, uh, transmutation of lead. Minus 35 melee attack, 20% accuracy, and 22% weapon damage on anybody is going to <clears throat> really severely weaken a unit. So, um, check my diplomacy. Um, Talabekland, like me. Let me get a non aggression. Um, maybe some military access. Uh, Sterland. Uh, they're okay. Um, Wizenland are improving. Kislev are deteriorating. Uh, let me see if they'll take trade. Uh, they will. Britonia. Uh, they don't want anything. Nordland just to the north. Let me see. Uh, they'll take a non aggression. Nope. Okay. And pretty much everybody else doesn't like me. Uh, and never mind, uh, I'll end turn. So I'll, I'll assume that this uh, Empire Scum Successionist Force will go into Grunberg. <coughs> Podcast Dines and Sterling, Kiss Eleven Red Eye. So, I mean, I'd like Norn, um, but I will focus on um, uh, Reichland, and then I'll probably move on Marienburg, um, just because of Marienburg port. I mean, it's, it's outrageous how much money that gives you, so. Um, let's just look at the officers. So, rank 10. He will obviously go to the Patriarch. Um, and he will stay there. And technology. It's technology all here. Have to have buildings to unlock. We'll get them soon. Um, I am going to go and attack Grunberg this turn. It thinks it's going to be an easy battle uh well it thinks it's not going to be an easy battle it thinks there is a chance but they are very weak for some reason so um it was wise to get um another pike because they have got empire knights which are very nasty um but let's go Hopefully I'll do what I did last time, I'll tie them up and then use uh, Gelt's magic. Um, along with my mortar I can obviously draw them in. Um, to the firing line. So, um, yeah I've got a nice little ridge here so, um, like I said I'll have mortar. I will gamble again. Hopefully, there we go. Reynolds with me, 34, which is nice. Second, so I'll have a uh, my line there. I'll have a pike behind, a pike behind, crossbows just behind. I'll have my outriders just here on the flank. And obviously, Gelt, I'll pop just there. So, um, I'll start battle. Hopefully, my mortars are in range. They are. So, they will start firing immediately. Uh, target that crossbow. Hopefully, if they overfire, um, they still hit. 
yeah, they're still hitting the trees behind, which is, which is nice. I can. But I will go for this one, actually, just because they're all clumped up around this area. Ooh. Yeah, they're racking up. 18 kills already. Um. So I will drop some magic. managed to get away a little bit but nothing so they're charging uphill which isn't very smart hopefully I can right and group attack with the, uh, the swords So now, another Searing Doom. Searing Doom? Yeah. Just in this group. Nice. How are my spears doing against this Empire Knight unit? I mean, not great. But the Empire Knights are a very nice looking. Get my Outriders to shoot on there, General. I am just shooting at their captain. Um, just because he's not really doing much. Oh no, he's shooting his little pistol. Um, this Empire Knight unit is so annoying. Can somebody kill it? Please. So the Empire versus the Empire Successionist scum. I mean, my troops should be ripping into them. Um, break soon I will throw Gal in just because I'm reckless they are breaking though um, which is understandable I mean mortar fire crossbow unit oh that serum doom from guilt just then was out actually outrageous it'd be nice to know how much damage he does do um, I'm gonna end the battle um, just because it's siege. I don't actually need to um, finish them off. So I lost 145, but a nice performance from all of my swords. Um, again, my mortar being the 
with being the actual MVP there. Didn't do much with my Outriders, but it's, it's okay. Gelt's magic, along with the mortar, was just enough to really damage them. And by that point, the the great swords and the swords were able to just wrap them up. So I think with Grunberg, um, I'll probably just occupy, um, unless I get something in this overhaul mod that changes what you get, but I don't think you do. So again, some money, uh, potion of healing for Gelt, uh, another rank. Um, so yeah, there's no point in looking at an occupying or sacking, so I'm just going to occupy, um, it'll give me replenishment and I can then, I can just move on, so. Your burgeoning realm grows your eminence, yet many evils still abound. So that's chapter done, chapter objective, well. Chapter objective issued. Um, so, uh, Battle of Blood Pine Woods. Where is that? Okay, what do they have? Hellstorm and Mortars. I have got no, no chance of uh, of winning that yet. I'm just not strong enough. Um, so, what's this? That's, that's quite nice. Um, 40 growth, which I'm going to keep hold of. Um, um, but I will get the, the War Horde, uh, the War Horse Breeder Stables in here. Um, uh, probably with um, the City Watch. Um, and then when I don't need the growth, I'll get rid of the growth building. But for now, I'll, I'll keep the growth building. It's, it's always nice. Uh, you get quite a bit of money from that as well. Um, so just let me um, uh, get Gelt's uh, points. I'm going to go for the... the uh, Gehenna's Golden Hounds, and um, that's where I'm going to wrap it up. Um, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you've got any um, anything to help me, just let me know. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.